Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum dear students welcome back in lecture 5 students as we have started uh, a video basically in that video we are just uh, basically like uh, Assalamu Alaikum friends like this is Sami from Civil Engineers okay. and today so I'm going to talk about in this RC mistake which is I think so is a very very big mistake and the person uh, basically uh, who recorded this video he didn't see that mistake the mistake is that you see this is a support class that is a beam class now you see if this is a beam class this is a beam and you see let's say that is my positive reinforcement clear coming from that direction and similarly from that direction basically okay now what we need at a support basically at a support you all know there is uh, you can see a movement slope is standing you can see here the point of inflection basically occurs what is point of inflection you see the movement is positive and then coming down the beam or support and then coming up clear and then coming up now this is the way how basically the moment diagram looks like if I if I want to show you a diagram uh, let me further watch this video I will then I will show you that diagram clear uh, so for example that don't use if they the bar coming from that direction similarly from that direction now what they basically did the mistake the person who who basically who meshed this uh, reinforcement that do not provide any negative reinforcement I mean that they must need to bend the bar running towards the support and then bending and then uh, continues uh, bend down and uh, running, running to the to the next position okay and here we need basically bend the bar then running over the support and then bend down clear now this is a big mistake we can say and we can we can uh, basically bend alternate bar we, we bend this bar then this bar this bar should be continuous it it continuously basically uh, coming into the support we can we can uh, basically we can let this bar over here okay now what we did basically we provide uh, to, to compensate for this uh, larger space we basically place at the top portion a top bar clear an extra bar which is known as extra bar this is bent up bar this is extra bar clear now basically they do not provide this this kind of arrangement let's see uh, Please leave, but here are video. some there common mistakes which has been done in this. You see those four support. You see this eight support. You see that support. Clear that do not provide any bent up bars. And bent up bars basically it looks like a two way slab. And in two way slab system, we have to provide bent up bars, extra bars, all over the four support supports. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let us, I will show you a video. In that video you see how they provide such kind of arrangement. So you see, in this lab system, in this video, you see the bar arrangement. Okay, you see the extra bar, you see the bent up bar. Okay, these are the extra bar, these are the bent up bar. And this is a two way lab system. You see, this is the extra bar, this is the bent up bar. Clear. This is the extra bar, and you see uh, that this side as well, and at this side as well. This kind of arrangement they do not provide. If I show you, let me. Okay. Yes. See the bar bent ups. Okay, you see the bar bent ups. The bar bent ups. You see here. So all over here, you see the bent up bars. Clear. So that kind of arrangement basically is not present in that in that video. Clear? So here you see oh, 
okay okay so you see these bent up bars so that kind of bent up bars is not provided in that uh, in that slab system clear all over the supports there is no so let me show you what are those bent up bars what course says about those bars where you have to bend that bar so let us talk about those uh, those those bars arrangement okay uh, bent up bars basically you see there the the slab system is discontinued and here at this support basically and at that support basically basically here you can see the the slab is continuous but here the slab is discontinued so this is discontinued edge this is continuous edge uh, the bars which is bent over here what at what distance from the face of the support the bar should be bent up clear and similarly in case of continuous basically system at what distance basically let me uh, show the other face uh, here at what distance the bar should start uh, starting getting up and then running okay so what will be the distance from the face of the support clear now this is how we call bent up bars okay and the point at which the bar basically bent up or bent down these are basically known as cut up points okay so one is theoretical cut up points and one is actual cut up points so what is theoretical cut up points and what is actual cut up points you can search these in my video lectures as development lens you can search just cut up points and uh, uh, theoretical and actual cut up points by engineer Ms. Bahullah Khan you, you, you see what is cut up, actual cut up points and what is theoretical cut up points so this is very very large detail I can't uh, explain those concepts because uh, here because it takes larger time clear but they do not provide let us see what different code says about this is the Winter Nelson book and this diagram is basically taken from the ACI code okay so you see here the inflection point where the bending movement changes from the positive to the negative one thing I want to show you look to this diagram okay here you see at the support we have a negative movement at the middle we have positive movement then at the support we have negative movement and then at the mid portion we have positive movement clear so basically if I draw a section of this beam or this slave clear uh, at the mid portion is the bending moment is maximum so I need basically what I need reinforcement right here but at the support you see here and you see here the 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 negative moment is maximum so here I need bar at the top and here I need bar at the top so this kind of arrangement basically is not provided in that video and the person not telling about this kind of arrangement as well because uh, he uh, I think uh, he may ignore it I, I think so he doesn't point out that this, this arrangement okay uh, so this is very necessary clear so this is in uh, let me show you in Winter Nelson book clear so here basically you see inflection point clear inflection point you see this point is basically called the theoretical cutoff point clear no theoretical cutoff point is you can say is that point uh, beyond which we have to uh, extend the the bar to gain its development then you see here that if we provide a steel negative steel reinforcement for this maximum movement the need the distance which we need is this much clear but they, they extend the bar from this point to this point okay so this distance is extra added with the development length and basically this point is called actual cut up point okay theoretically you can cut the bar here but actual point of cut up is this point at a distance of 12 dB or D or ln by 16 sometimes okay which is added with a development length 
gives you the actual cutoff point. So please watch those video series which I recorded almost 18 lectures are there. Uh, if you watch those videos you can you can learn about these uh, these topics as well that what is actual cutoff point and this is you can search it lectures by Banda by engineer Ms. Bahullah Khan uh, available on my YouTube channel and these 18 lectures okay and if I if I show you basically here what are what are those videos are there are different videos and different questions I solved okay cut up more points by so here you see inshallah no the elevation or construction of the beam video I explain the whole procedure at what how much you have to anchor this bar enter this bar how much bar should be cut up at how much distance clear I explain all these example from winter if you want to understand okay. and this, I also use those uh, complete clear means basically exterior okay. supports and you see the, the calculations whole calculation although you uh, need number to add bar understand clear, the there is one number from the first lecture uh, to the this, end of the lecture yes. you, just you can't the understand the these uh, by just uh, this, starting this, from this the table add or 10 two, lectures you need, you need to understand this diagram where are actual cutoff point and where are so these these graphs are basically available in international book for the last pages so how we use this diagram I explain this these as well similarly you see this example okay the whole okay. example is basically you at that point and how right basically there. those cutoff but points you are, are cut used from figure we need to extend this point okay you see here how those top bars are cut up at a distance okay so beyond, these beyond this are topic. available on my channel okay please watch these all 18 videos from the first to the last you will understand the detailing the whole uh, basically the whole theory and approach behind the detailing of reinforcement in in column in slab in beam okay yes this, this is very important these are very important lectures clear now coming back to the question uh, here you see uh, this kind of detailing I, I explained though the, in this diagram as well. Now, let us a little bit talk about this diagram. I also explained this diagram on those on, in those videos. Clear? If if you have a slab system and it is subjected to uniform distances and basically the, the difference between if base, pens, lesser, not greater dif difference, you can say one, one feet or 1.5 feet roundabout. So you can use these diagrams for bent up bars. You see the top bars can be cut up at a distance of L1 by 3, L2 by 3. This, but remember this, this is this is a clear span. Clear. And the positive bar can be cut up for interior support at a distance of L1 by 6 edge, sorry, and the top bar at the discontinuous edge. Uh, I show you I show you in the video okay uh, basically here I I show that Assalamu alaikum friends what this is Sami is from civil engineer the in this RCC slave but now they are not able to fix those mistakes which I am telling you in this what video let's start the, guys this is RCC slave but we have already discussed the, that this kind, this main bar and distribution kind. bars dia should be changed from there. each other so the main dia and uh, the main bar arrow. dia should be more than its distribution bar here you can see here are main let me play this with a, this player. Okay, so you need to understand those. Uh, as well. okay. Okay. So this is Sami from here, Civil Engineers, and today uh, this is this is a continuous support. This, this is not a discontinuous support player. And I'm going to talk about in this RCC RCC slave. That but is now they are not able to fit. That is the discontinuous edge. So the top bar should be cut up at a distance of how much? L1 by 4 top bar not bottom bar and the bottom bars you see is not cut up the whole bars are uh, inserted into the support now sometime we may bend the, the positive bar with a distance of L1 by 7 alternate bent up bar ok now uh, this is according to the core criteria that uh, 
approximately one third bar should be entered into the support layer and if there is some interior support two third of bar should be entered into the support ok uh, here you see the, the, the here you see basically one third bar or two third bar should be cut up mean that if you have three bar so you you can you you need to insert minimum two bar basically uh, in the support layer one bar can be bent up so round about 30 percent 25 percent okay code different limitation the bar should be inserted into the support for a distance of six inches from the face of the support to the interior for a distance of six inches and you see the positive bar is cut up by a distance of two similarly this bar is continuous up to distance this is one arrangement ok these are you can say cut up or bent up ok bars these are bent up bars ok now you see bent up bars the same limitation now the bar can be bent up at a distance of L1 by 4 that's interesting clear uh, for example if I show you in a video uh, let me show you uh, let me show you right that here if I draw let me draw for example if alternate bars should be bent up let's say if I bend this bar ok and running in this direction and then bend down so the distance from from, from the bent up point to the face of the support is equals to L1 by clear L1 is nothing that is the clear span of that span of that layer clear now the bar should be continued for a distance of L1 by L1 by 4 clear now the next bar should be extra bar which is provided for this bar at the top now the next bar should be bent up clear and bend, bending down now, uh, here you see bar bent up and from that side the bar is bent up but in an alternate manner, clear. Uh, this is all arrangement, okay, uh, in Milton book but it is taken from the ACI code, clear. Now, I explained this in my those videos, please watch these videos. If I show you uh, in basically in a, in a, if I show you basically in in Euro code so in Euro code you see here at the the wall basically you see the bar for negative reinforce or negative movement the top bars are used while bottom bars are discarded clear similarly you see here at the outer support, the top bars are used for negative. Clear? Now, the interesting thing is that you have to provide a chair. Clear? Remember, this is very important. And inside, I when I was most cited to cited, uh, uh, and I see uh, in many sites basically, I never see this kind of chairs basically. Okay? So you must need to provide chairs okay they don't provide those chairs okay the chair provision is compulsory in a euro code clear now uh, these are the euro code limitations clear and what are these distances for how much distances you have to enter and for how much distances you have to continue to please download this book and watch these these limitations okay this is uh, you can say this is a manual manual uh, for detailing reinforced concrete structures to clear. Uh, let us see. This is also a British code and Euro code. What say? What it say? If your slab is a simply supported clear. In case of simply supported, uh, you have to provide 100% reinforcement in the metal portion. While you can discontinue 50% of steel reinforcement at a distance of 0.1 times of L from the center line clear but if it is a continuous slab system then what you have to do you see 
at the middle portion at the middle portion you have to provide 100 percent aged but at a distance of 0.1 times of hill from the center line you, you can discontinue 50 percent steel for example if you are providing uh, if you are providing a steel here let's say that is uh, a HD is around about you can say two square inches. So here you will provide one square inch. Clear? So this is the limitation. But make sure the amount of steel which you are providing here should not be less than uh, the minimum reinforcement as minimum. So you have to provide in each section of the slab, of the beam, of the column. You have to ensure that it is a minimum. Discontinue this steel reinforcement, but not this 50% of this positive reinforcement basically should not be less than the minimum reinforcement. Clear? So you see, at a distance of 0.2, clear? And these are interior reinforcement. No, for positive, this is this, this arrangement is for positive reinforcement. No, for negative reinforcement, you see, if the support you have to provide 100% steel. Less, but beyond 0.15 times of L, you can discontinue a steel reinforcement of 50%. You see this kind of arrangement. In many videos, in many sites, basically, they, they provide basically uh, the bars are extended bar basically by, by two in uh, middle direction. Let me show you, for example. If I if this is a beam where um, I have to use basically let's say uh, the curtailment bar. So you see some bars are shorter, some bars are extra bars are shorter while some extra bars are longer. Clear why this kind of arrangement? Basically you you have to ensure basically hundred percent steel uh, in this region. Clear while fifty percent is discontinued and you continue uh, up to a certain distance beyond that point. Clear? Now, where those points lie basically, so the British code basically explained the whole procedure here. Okay, the resistance of 0.15 times of L basically, you, you, you have to provide 100% bar, you get to this side as well as you get to that side, and similarly, the rest of the bar. 50% that is distance C 0.3 times of L. Basically, you have to provide other half negative reinforcement. But remember, C should not be less than 45 times of the uh, diameter of the bar, of this bar. Okay, or you can say that the development length. Now, this is the arrangement basically in zero code. If I show you, uh, this is McCormick. Uh, in the Cormic book, you see this, is, this arrangement is basically for beam, but you can apply it for flare as well. You see the bars are curtailed, okay, the, these are the negative bars. So, for negative reinforcement, they provide negative bar, and they, the bars are discontinued. But here, note, this is very, very important, and you must basically uh, note down this, that some of the positive reinforcement continues in this support. This means, if you, uh, if you uh, basically if you cut one bar, okay, the next bar should be inserted into the support or continuous. Then the another bar should be, uh, you can say, the another bar should be cut up, but the alternate bar should be continuous. Clear? So this is this kind of arrangement. Almost one third, two third, the support two third bar should be entered while it, uh, the discontinuous edge, and you can say one third bar should be. So, in SCA code, basically these limitations uh, are present clear. Now, um, coming to the, this is also a British code limitation clear. And I think so, this is uh, in McGregor, McGregor, you see here, this is, uh, I think the, I, I, I want to show you this picture for the, that, that you can say this is a part of our lecture part, part, part 4. You see the stirrups in this picture, okay. Uh, I want to show you these pictures to share with you, clear. 
uh, you see the picture is getting the scattering of the scratch that are in uniform. Okay, you see the whole picture, you know, the scattering is in uniform, not basically they are, and you see the cut up bar as well. Basically, the bars are bent and cut up, okay, they are provided. So, this kind of arrangement is provided, okay. So, uh, this is very important to share with you. Uh, it is very important, I think so, it is enough. Okay, uh, see you in next lecture. So before uh, uh, closing this video, I, I request you to please watch those 18 lectures if you want to become the master of uh, 